what's good y'all it's your girl jacayla a and we back with another christmas set i told y'all they coming the christmas sets are coming we did this blue on mickey um she loved blue so i definitely just wanted to stay in that space and we wanted to do christmas but not too christmas because she got a birthday that's on christmas so like um her birthday is on christmas or it's the day after but i think it's christmas yeah i think her birthday is on christmas yeah because today is the day after christmas yep her birthday was yesterday so we wanted to do birthday so we got bling and designs but we also wanted to do christmas but no santa no reindeer no snowman type christmas so we definitely did our plaid design and then we did some pretty other designs and some bling right now i'm just setting up my application this is my short length um yeah this is my short length it can get shorter but this is like the longest you can get and your nails still be considered a short so we just did a short coffin i'm using my cover nude that i'm always using my brush is a size 12 from zule nails zulenails.com and yeah i'll just let y'all enjoy the application it is literally a solid color application and i'm making sure i'm getting my size always and i'm making sure that i'm working at the right ratio i think the room was pretty nice this day it's really touch and go with my workspace sometimes it's very hot in there and then sometimes it's a little bit colder in there but this was a pretty quick application and it's only the one hand because it's pretty much the same thing on the other hand i'm trying to make my videos a little shorter so yeah Still young, so what's the rush? Tonight is young and we not drunk enough. You'll come around if I don't do too much. We had our downs, but we had way more ups. Let's make love. That 
be the reason that you always hit me up. I swear, you like the way I fuck, cause I get rough. You told me your new man don't make you nut. It's a damn shame. You come here, I knock your pussy out the damn frame. Remember that last time I made you miss your damn plane? Remember that last time I wet you down with champagne? Remember that? And I know I've been the worst, but I love you better. If you let me, let's catch a flight, change the weather. And I promise forever So yes, we didn't include any prep because it's the same in every video. You can go back to my for beginners how to apply acrylic video and we talk about the prep, but it's also linked below. The primer that I use is always linked below. I got my 80, 80 grit foul and buffer. I think one side is 100 and one is 120 or maybe 150. One of the two, but I always use the more fine side instead of the coarse side. And our application was really on point today. So we just hit them sides. We hit the buffer on top. And then all we did um, at that point was seal it in. And we was good to go because the application really ate. If the application don't eat, it's okay. You can always recover in the filing process because um, that's just life. Sometimes I have to too. But you know, the more you practice, the more it'll come together. And I'm always using my five in one bit to seal. And I think I already said it, but if I didn't, one foul, one buffer per client, throw it away after it is not meant to be saved. Even for that client next time, it's not meant to be saved because it's bacteria, even from that last client set. You know what I'm saying? That's a one use thing. Or you need to get the disinfecting, um, the ones that you can disinfect. I got my Capricorn charms because she is a Capricorn, but her set was short, so we don't got the full Capricorn name. We just got Cap because <laughs> she a Cap. So we just put the Cap charm on her left, and then we put the symbol or like the emoji sign vibe, that charm on the right hand. Those charms come off of AliExpress. These Cap, uh, these, um, the spelled out Zodiac charms, I get off of amazon you can also get the symbol charms off amazon but it's way cheaper off aliexpress and you could buy them in bulk they take more time to come but they will be cheaper and you could buy quite a few of them and then you know get your bank for your book like that and they're always a serve in a birthday set always 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 gonna eat up a birthday set those uh zodiac charms 10 out of 10 great idea for a freestyle set even if it's not a birthday set Bitches love they sign. Bitches love the Zodiac. It's, it's going to eat every time. So definitely look into getting some of them. If you still in the process of buying charms and getting artwork and stuff like that. Which we all in the process of it. It never stops. You will always have to buy stuff. You will always have to keep up with the times. You will always have to invest. So go ahead and grab those AliExpress for almost all of my charms. Unless um, I'm in a time sensitive type of thing. I prefer to go that route. So I got my three blues down. You could pause the video to see which ones I use. I know that my white is from Jelixer, always. And I know that my two blues are from D&D. That is also my favorite nail polish brand. I love D&D. They get a bad rap sometimes because the polish is a little bit on the loose side, a little bit. You know, not the most pigmented in the game, but for the price, I definitely think it's quality for the price. 10 out of 10 would recommend quality for the price for sure. So on my nails, I'm going to do a sweater design. I'm going to do some sugar nail art. So I went in with my top coat first. And my top coat is IBD gel. I just bought a big one and keep refilling that little black top coat bottle that I bought from the nail supply store. 
and I got gloves on today as I should be always having them on but sometimes I forget and you know contact dermatitis is real you don't really want to be hand to hand with a client but sometimes I forget like I said and sometimes I wear nails and it just be uncomfortable so I'm going in with my striper tool and I'm starting my plaid design I do believe yes because you know we talked about in the last video that Burberry plaid design gonna eat them up every time especially for the fall sets it's real 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 cute and we're doing the blue version today no black no red we're doing two different blues and oh it just came out so pretty to me like I could see this design over all the nails real long square nails with the plaid over all of them that's but that's that's beastie to me that's real cute like that's busting but nobody ever comes and get it that's why on my new site when i do my revamp i'm gonna have an option for freestyles and sets that i want to do because like i feel like an orange plaid over all of the nails busting <laughs> Catch a flight, change the weather, and I promise forever. Look clumsy and a little busy body like me and sometimes doing one nail you will mess up the other nail don't be afraid to cure just two nails don't be afraid to cure or do a flash cure like 30 seconds in between different nail art sometimes it's what it called for and sometimes you're just doing it to be on the safe side like i just had then i had her flash that um thumb and that blue finger and that top coat just to get that out the way and make sure that it's staying where it needs to stay and now we're moving on to the rest of the design i just wanted to say that because sometimes you'll be doing a finger and mess up the other finger and then while you're fixing that finger you'll mess up the other finger you know it just gets that way so we did some stripes with some glitter um um some sugar glitter on the pinky something like a candy cane vibe but again we're going for a blue color theme with like silver and white accents and then we're doing a sweater nail here you can't really see it up close but in the next clip on the other hand because i really only show one hand when both hands are the same but on different fingers i usually just show one hand so today we're only showing the left hand but in the next clip i did show a close-up of me doing the sweater nail thumb just so you could get a better idea for how it's done if you are seeing this for the first time ever and you never saw that design done before sometimes i think that oh everybody knows just because i know and that's just not true everybody does not know just because you know it could be somebody watching your video that never ever saw anybody do nails besides when they go and get their nails done so it's just certain things that they've never seen before so you got to explain everything and so here I am outlining my plaid design where I would traditionally put black. I'm putting my dark blue because my black is being replaced by dark blue and my red is being replaced by light blue. And you'll see it in the following clips. But with that sweater design, you want to lay, here we go, and I can explain it better. You want to lay just enough polish that the acrylic powder has something to soak up in and this is just regular clear acrylic powder just like if you was laying down acrylic foot up to build the set um you want to have enough polish that there's something for the acrylic to soak up and hold on to but you don't want to have too much that your design is no longer detailed so it's a balance but you do want to have enough polish down so that you get that 3d risen effect and it's just so pretty and it's gonna hit them every time 
So now we're going in with our last line. Yes, I do have to cure in between lines. So I put my white down. I went into the light for 30 seconds. I put down my blue. I went into the light for 30 seconds. I'm putting down my second blue. And then we're going into the light for 60 seconds, one whole minute. And then we'll put a top coat in. Eventually, we'll put a top coat on. And we'll go back into the light for 60 more seconds. So, you know, a little time consuming. But it's worth it. And it makes for a very clean design. And here we are just doing our next color on our pinky. In between, we wiped each one off. So we went in with the silver, wiped it off. Went in with the light blue and a white glitter on top of it. Cured it, wiped it off. Now we're going in with the dark blue and a complimentary dark blue. Um, a complimentary dark blue glitter. And then we're going to cure that and then wipe that off. And of course... Uh, I don't know if you remember, but of course we put down our top coat before you do the sugar nails. You can also put top coat on top of sugar nails, but I don't think it hit the same. I don't think it gives the same type of glittery, cute accent to it. So I will go the reverse way. The blue box of bling auto shapes I got off of AliExpress. And then these regular rhinestones I get off of Amazon. They are non Swarovski. I only use Swarovski by request. I do have a Swarovski collection, but I only use it by request. And then I'm using my freeze dry spray to dry my glue. The glue is listed below. It can be found on Amazon as well. You want to get that nail brush or a tool brush because you want to just get into all those cracks and crevices and you want to top coat the set. I also did cuticle oil and a hand massage and that was the set. I thought it was super pretty and a perfect combination of birthday and Christmas. Hope y'all enjoy and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.